When we discovered the cause of progeria in 2003, it was an historic event. It was tremendous and it flung open the doors of science for us because now we knew what caused it. We knew that this enemy protein that we named progerin exists and it's a protein that nobody was looking for before. So studies since then have, have, have um, revealed that we all have a little bit of progerin in our bodies and that it increases as we age. So um, there is a definitive biological link between progeria and the aging process that affects us all. And what these children do is they, they provide a pure form of aging, one that doesn't have the smoking and drinking and other environmental factors involved. <clears throat> so when scientists do study uh, research on progeria in the children, it, it provides this wonderful, um, clean sort of uh, look into the aging process in some, in some aspects. And then what the children die of is the cardiovascular disease. So as we experiment with drugs uh, in these trials, we obviously are trying to re re attack the, the progerin and rid the body of progerin. And in, this, in the same um, way, that may also help the millions of people who suffer from heart disease.